All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, finally, it stopped raining here. Uh, it's been raining for a few days. Uh, managed to get through all of the Tiger King series on Netflix. Uh, and then while it was, was raining, uh, it was really cold. And I basically was not keen whatsoever to start working on the truck. But today, uh, what I wanted to work on was um, marking out a a good map in the truck for the body drop like where like what I mean is like where exactly I want to do all the cuts um, I want it to make I want to make it look as clean as possible and so that when I do go for a war of fitness uh, basically they don't even look at it because it just looks standard so well I will do as uh, a good a job as I can as making it look factory um, so yeah we'll take you through today I'm here I'm probably going to make the cuts all the way through this on this side. So I've used the old wire wheel on the drill to do it. I found some rough spots there, another one there, there, some in here, which are, yeah, it's all good. I'll be able to fix those. Um, and a major one in here. Uh, while it was raining, I did get in the truck and I did chisel out all the sound deadener. It's a bit of a mess, but it's, it's a dirty job and yeah I have marked in the red with the white I'm gonna chop basically I'm gonna chop that out and we'll put in a Z um, which I will mount to the body and it'll Z up and give me two inches of raised section um, and then yeah Well, that's that gone so I guess the next thing to do is to put the cuts through there and then raise the floor up the next oh maybe later on maybe further down the track I'll show you how to fit the Sylvia seat belts the retractable seat belts they um they work pretty well I'll throw some photos up in the video of this one just so you know what it looks like been working on getting this panel out had to drill out these spots uh, you can see where it goes through that inner plate there 
looks kind of ugly, but that's all right. I can um, fix those with my welder and smooth them out, flatten it, smooth it, and yeah, once I weld that back in, it'll be fine. So, I've just been cutting and grinding. So, literally just got this last piece here um, to undo. And then that panel is uh, separated. Took me a while, but really need to really need to get it uh, off, and then I'll clean it up. Not phased about all of this because I can straighten it up. So if you're still unsure what's actually going to go on here, I'm going to clean all of this up with a uh, sanding disc. Weld whatever little rust hole, like that little rust hole, that one there. But anyways, so now that that's free, this goes up to there and then I'll weld it all in so it should give me enough clearance. Now um, what I'm going to try and do is chop the front um, body mounts and I'm going to mark it half or I'm going to mark it and then literally I'm going to keep it the mark on there and I'm going to measure down 50 mil which is two inches and then basically re-weld them and find a spacer to space it out because the body's still going to be sitting at this, the factory height until I chop the floor out of the cab because there's there's two or four body mounts inside the cab which are actually once the um the floor is lowered or raised i should say and the body's lowered um i'm going to keep those like untouched because i don't really want to do too much besides raising the floor which will drop the body so yeah that's what we're going to do next okay so i got the uh body mount chopped out Um, yeah, it's a little bit trickier than what I thought. Uh, I suggest jacking the truck up, giving you clearance in here, taking the front bumper off, pulling the uh, tow hook out, and yeah, basically you can you can get to it from from through there. Not the greatest, but you know, we'll get in there, clean it up with the egg grinder. I'm thinking about redesigning this though, because yeah, if I just designed it so that it was dropped, it, 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 it'll look a lot better. Um, I, I've got SolidWorks downloaded, but I, I just need to um, get some of the files in there so that I can download it properly. Um, yeah, so you have to take the bumper off, you have to take the tow hook off to get it, and then yeah, you can get it from here, it's pretty easy getting it through that way. Um, and then yeah, cut it through there. If you had uh, um, like a hacksaw, that'd be easier, that'd be a shit ton easier. So, as it turns out, I uh, had a look in the shed and I've got no argon left in my welder, so I'm not going to be doing any welding today. So, that's all I've got in this uh, episode. Um, if uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like the content. Please tell me what I could do better. That'd be great. But yeah, enjoy and see you on the next one. Bye.